Hello there, welcome to our channel. Today we'll tell you about the Israeli drone Heron. Watch the video until the end to never miss a thing. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and smash the notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload new videos. We upload latest gadgets, tech and inventions on daily basis. So if you want to get these tons of ideas make sure you are subscribed to our channel. The IAI Heron or Mashats 1 is a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle developed by the Malat Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Division of Israel Aerospace Industries. It is capable of medium-altitude long-endurance operations of up to 52 hours, duration at up to 10.5 kilometers or 35,000 feet. It has demonstrated 52 hours of continuous flight, but the effective operational maximal flight duration is less, according to payload and flight profile. An advanced version, the Heron TP, is also known as the IAI Aton. The Heron navigates using an internal GPS navigation device, and either a pre-programmed flight profile, in which case the system is fully autonomous from takeoff to landing, manual override from a ground control station, or a combination of both. It can autonomously return to base and land in case of lost communication with the ground station. The system has fully automatic launch and recovery and all-weather capabilities. The Heron can carry an array of sensors, including thermographic camera or infrared and visible light airborne ground surveillance, intelligence systems and various radar systems, totaling up to 250 kilograms or 550 pounds. The Heron is also capable of target acquisition and artillery adjustment. The payload sensors communicate with the ground control station in real time, using either direct line of sight data link, or via an airborne or satellite relay. Like the navigation system, the payload can also be used in either a fully pre-programmed autonomous mode, or manual real-time remote operation, or a combination of both. At the February 2014 Singapore Air Show, IAI unveiled the Super Heron refinement of the Heron UAS. The Super Heron has a 200 horsepower diesel engine that increases its rate of climb and performance. Its range is 250 km or 160 miles line of sight and 1000 km or 620 miles by satellite control. Endurance is 45 hours at a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet. Cruising speed is 110 to 150 km per hour and top speed over 280 km per hour. The Heron saw significant use during Operation Cast Lead in Gaza of 2008 to 2009. During the deployment, each brigade combat team was assigned an unmanned aerial vehicle squadron for close support. This was the first Israeli operation in which unmanned aerial vehicles, helicopters, and fighter jets were allocated to ground forces directly without IAF Central Command authorizing sorties. Air support controller teams operated alongside brigade commanders at the front emphasizing the brigade commander's utilization of direct air assets. A high degree of situational awareness was achieved by maintaining at least a dozen unmanned aerial vehicles in flight over Gaza at all times. Aerial surveillance was provided by Heron and Hermes 450 unmanned aerial vehicles and Apache attack helicopters. Along with coordination between the Air Force and ground troops, Israeli ground forces were able to utilize cooperation with the Israel Security Agency by having operatives attached to the forward units. This inter-service coordination allowed for a higher level of tactical awareness and the ability to strike time-critical targets. Other countries operating the Heron include Singapore, India, and Turkey. France operates a derivative of Heron named Eagle or Harfon. In 2008, Canada announced a plan to lease a Heron for use in Afghanistan, starting in 2009. In mid-2009, Australia leased two Herons as part of a multi-million dollar lease to operate the vehicles in Afghanistan. In early July 2013, the Heron reached 15,000 flight hours over Afghanistan. 
Australia concluded its use of the Heron in support of Operation Slipper in Afghanistan on November 30, 2014, after it had accumulated 27,000 flight hours. Turkey operates a special variant of the Heron, which utilizes Turkish-designed and manufactured electro-optical subsystems. The Turkish Herons also have stronger engines in order to compensate for the added payload created by the heavier equipment. The drone carries several tactical equipments and armament to help achieve its goals. The Heron UAV is configured for multiple operations, even under adverse weather conditions. It uses multiple sensors and satellite communication for extended range data capture and transfer. Its features include state-of-the-art avionics, retractable landing gear, along with automatic takeoff and landing systems. The Heron UAV is powered by a single Rotax 914 turbo aircraft engine. It was manufactured by Austria's leading aircraft engine supplier BRP Rotax. The engine has the capacity to produce 85.79 kilowatts of output power. Heron UAV has EO and IR sensors, thermal surveillance equipment and laser designator. The sensors were supplied by Northrop Grumman and Tamam division of IAI. The EO sensor converts light rays into electronic signals for capturing images, real-time data, and videos. The laser designator is used in the Heron UAV for targeting the enemy battlefield. Thermal surveillance equipment is used to capture high-resolution images during night by penetrating through clouds, rain, smoke, fog, and smog. The UAV also comprises a direct line-of-sight or lost data link, UAV airborne data relay for beyond loss missions and ground-based data relay for communicating with the ground control station. Electronic support measures help the Heron in threat detection and examines the area to determine signals emitted from the surrounding radars. It is primarily used for examining the battlefield area and provides the ground station commanders with relevant data. The AIS gathers details of ships such as vessel type, vessel name and destination. The radar systems for the Heron have been manufactured by IAI's subsidiary ELTA Systems. ELTA has manufactured the MPR to identify vessels from very long distances and use silhouette target acquisition. MPR also provides SAR images and detects ground vehicles using its ground moving target indicator mode. What do you think about this amazing drone? Let us know in the comments section. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. Your subscriptions, like and shares are what inspire us to create more content. Therefore please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And finally, thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.